Hello everybody, Gav McCormack here. We're in Iceland. Now this piece of rock next to me right here is a piece of basalt. Basalt originated around 4.6 billion years ago. But the universe began long before that. In fact, around about 13 billion years ago, a cataclysmic explosion happened in the center of the universe, which would change the way that everything happened, that life lived and that planets existed. As you can see behind me, we have rivers, streams, mountains, fjords, but this took a very long time to occur. In fact, it took 13 billion years for the universe to look like it does today. And we've traveled to Iceland to find out exactly what happened in the very beginning of time to the present day. But let's go find a man who knows how the whole story played out. Let's go. Now we've learned that 13 billion years ago, the universe was formed from the Big Bang. But we were a long way away from having an environment like the one we can see around us today, with rivers, rocks, mountains, and fjords. Now if we fast forward, and we go to around about 4.6 billion years ago, we find something called rock. Now this is a piece of basalt. Now as all of the elements from the Big Bang started to accumulate and coalesce, they developed planets and suns and moons. And our planet, Earth, was a big, fiery ball. But as that lava started to dry, it changed form and it created something magical. This is basalt. And the first basalt was formed around about 4.6 billion years ago. Let's go find a man who knows exactly how the whole process happened. Let's go. Now in the Hadean era, 4.6 billion years ago, the rock on this earth started to form. The basalt around me started to be created and we had an earth's crust. But still, there was no life. There was a ball of molten rock covered in this hard surface, which is the rock you can see here. Now something remarkable happened between 4.6 billion years and 2.8 billion years, and that was the arrival of water. Water, just like the stuff you can see here. Now with water, as you probably know, comes something very special, life. That life was the life that would eventually become you and I and every creature living on the planet. Let's have a taste. Wow, delicious. Now as the Earth started to change and all of the magma and lava started to dry, the formation of the planet would change forever. We would now have rock, we'd have mountains, we'd have landforms, we'd have water, and that would eventually lead us to having life, complex life, just like our bodies. And we found Marcus. Marcus, how are you, sir? We are again. It is good to see you again. Now, Marcos is a geologist, and we've climbed to the top of this huge waterfall here to learn about the Hadean era. What an amazing era. It was, it was. Since the beginning of our planet, 4.5 billion years, or until 4 billion years, it is called the Hadean era. And I'm going to explain why in just a minute. Our planet was nothing like it is today. It was very, very hot, warm, volcanoes spewing everywhere, even asteroid impacts that were colliding with our planet constantly. The atmosphere, the sky wasn't blue, it was a different composition, so actually the sky was red. Red, full of CO2 and methane and all these things that we wouldn't be able to breathe right now. So it was very inhospitable, and this is why they call it Hadean. Hadean for the Greek word underworld. Wow, so this dark red bubbling underworld, a fiery furnace. No life could possibly live there. Nothing could have lived there. Now, 
I understand the lava, the magma, this fire started to cool and change from some kind of liquid form into rocks like we see here. How did that happen? Exactly. So even though it was a very inhospitable moment in time, it was very important because from there, air started to evolve. The first process was a process called differentiation. Huh? So the earth crust started to form as we know it today. And a lot of the heavier elements sink down into the mantle, into the core of our planet. Wow. And that's why the center of the earth is made of those heavy elements like iron. Exactly. Iron and nickel. And those things just sink down in that precise moment. Not only that, but it is thought that a big asteroid impact created our moon. A huge chunk of our planet that dislodged and became our moon. So very important things started to happen. Another one of those is that there was all of this bubbling that put a lot of the gases that we know now to be our atmosphere and would then become the ocean. Wow. Because this was the moment in time when all of this happened. Right, so let me just get this straight for everybody. The earth cools, the magma dries, the rock is formed. But in that great exchange, that, that manifestation of this new planet, we have gases released. And those gases change the atmosphere into this atmosphere that potentially we have today. Exactly. In the beginning, all of this warmed outgassed this very, very warm planet, and it put oil in the atmosphere, but Earth was still very hot. Yes. So nothing was able to precipitate yet, because everything was even higher than boiling point. Right. At a certain period in time, back in that period, things cooled down enough for some of these elements to precipitate. Okay. So rain and rain and rain followed through centuries, even millions of years, and that formed in the deepest parts of our planet, our ocean. Wow, so these mountains are formed, these rock formations, and then the great rains came. And how unbelievable that it rained for hundreds, if not millions of years, nonstop, causing the rivers, oceans, and waterfalls, just like the ones that we have here today. Exactly, if you try to picture the volume that is in our oceans currently, today, you need to picture that that didn't happen from one day to the other. It was a long and ongoing process that lasted for a long time. Wow, how remarkable that the Earth we have today, which is so peaceful and blue and green, started off in the Hadean as a big fiery red ball. And what was so important about the formation of these waterways? The important thing is that by now, with this inhospitable Earth, it led us to having all the right amount of things and materials. We have the atmosphere, we have the oceans, we have the rocks, we have an Earth that is a little bit cooler. Now we are ready for something that's very important. It transformed the planet as we know it today. That is the beginning of life. Wow, out okay. there. Now this week, we want you to create your own model of the planet Earth. We need you to use any materials you can get your hands on to make those four layers and actually Recently, there's been another layer right in the center, the innermost innermost core, which is really remarkable. And you can do your research to find out all about that. And when you've made your model, make sure you use it to make the world a little bit better by sharing your knowledge. Marcos, it's been amazing to have your knowledge with us again this week. See you all next time.